Are there any alternatives to Source Mogul? Because I've read some reviews online that say it's useless. Uh, and I've heard this a couple times from a couple different people. No, it's definitely not useless. I use it myself. I don't do that much arbitrage um, via retail sites anymore. I used to. It's more of like a beginner kind of. It's not beginner because you can scale it rel like pretty well, right? But it's more, I think that the books are a higher margin, um, so I like them better because you're dealing with less inventory. For example, if you're sourcing, I know this isn't your question, but I'm trying to just explain my logic here of why I don't use it anymore. It's not beginner, but like, if you're sourcing from a retail website, like using Source Mobile, right? And you're sourcing from a site like Walmart, like you're gonna be dealing with like potentially 10 products at like a $4 profit margin or like 10 products at like a six to $10 profit margin or whatever, right? I'm just coming up with like random examples. And you're dealing with a lot of products to get a relatively smaller profit margin compared to books, right? With books, you might find a book with like a $30 profit margin or a book with like a $50 profit margin or a $100 profit margin. And so you're only dealing with one piece of inventory for a larger profit margin, even though you have to wait longer to sell it. The retail products will sell faster, but you have to package a bunch of them up and ship them all in FBA. So that's why I like it better. So. I, I did ask you a follow-up question here, specifically like, are you talking about sourcing from retail websites or just finding profitable products online in general? If you're talking about specifically sourcing from retail websites, to answer your question, Source Mogul is good. It's, it's very, very good. I use it all the time and I, well, I used to use it all the time. I still do test it um, here and there and I'm gonna answer your next question because you actually asked, asked the fourth question for this week's Q&A. So I still do use it from time to time to test different things because obviously I have a course on this and I wanna make sure that things stay you know, relevant and I can always kind of relay those things to students if they have questions. Um, so I don't typically use it a lot anymore, but it does still work very, very well. But if you're specifically asking from retail websites, its main competitor is Tactical Arbitrage, which also works very, very well. I like Source Mogul a lot better. I've done a complete video outlining the differences specifically between like how to approach Source Mogul, how to approach Tactical Arbitrage, the pricing differences between them, um, I believe that there's one in the course, so I'm not sure specifically where it is. Let me find it for you really fast. So your, your main answer if you're sourcing from retail websites is Source Mogul or Tactical Arbitrage. They both work very well. I've tried them both. Um, and you can, if you don't find success with Source Mogul, try Tactical Arbitrage. But the people that say that from typically what you're hearing in like forums or like Facebook groups, the people that say that Source Mogul doesn't work typically believe that because they use like a cached system and it doesn't update all the time, that it's useless. But realistically, what you need to do is you just need to go in and update them every single time, right? So you can't run the software and then come back like a week later and check those prices or all those products because the stock will be out of date, the price comparisons will be out of date. So if you plan on using Source Mogul, especially with like the tutorials in the course, what you just need to do is you need to update it right then and then go in, right? So it still works very, very well to answer your question. Let me find out where that actually is. I believe it's either in the searchable Q&A section so I can point you in that direction or it's in the actual um, retail website sourcing section. Let me find it really fast. So there's two on there. So just go to the searchable Q&A section, search for source mogul or for tactical arbitrage and it should pop up with a few different answers. I have one of them. I also have a comparison video there. So there's a comparison video. I also answer that video uh, specifically in a different question as well. So that's where you can find the answer specifically comparing the two, but they're both really, really good, good ways to, sor sor uh, to search with software for retail websites. Now, if you're talking about just finding profitable products in general, then yeah, there's a million other ways out there to do it. There's a million other softwares. And obviously all the other sections in the course will cover that. You can use like a book flipping software like eFlip or Zen Arbitrage. You can use like a wholesale sourcing software like a Scan Unlimited. There's so many different softwares out there and I don't wanna throw you for too many loops because one of the best recommendations is like pick one thing, stick with it and get good at it before you try to branch off into other things because that's how you're gonna find the best results the fastest for you. So I would just say either, I would recommend trying Source Mogul, especially because all the tutorials in the course are geared to that. But if you don't like Source Mogul, then you can try a tactical arbitrage. It works very, very similar in a lot of ways. Um, and I have tried it and it works well, okay? 